dia subscribers or the non subscriber yang watch this video just because they want to watch this video hello finally finally i'm doing the most requested video which is my skincare routine video i don't even know why you guys want to watch a skincare routine from this face this not flawless face but yeah day by day makin ramai yang request nak tengok my skincare routine uh thank you <laughs> So here I am doing my skincare routine. First of all, I'm so sorry for putting off this video. Lama gila. So before we begin, I just want to tell you guys my skin type. I have a oily skin with any prone. I am constantly breaking out, but I used to have a very horrible, terrible uh, breakout masa zaman muda remaja dulu. And I went to uh, doctor pakai kulit and got that treated. Alhamdulillah, my skin gets better. Tapi macam doktor cakap, tak boleh nak expect Lepas ni tak tumbuh langsung jerawat Of course, I'm going to get occasional breakouts from stress From, you know, hormonal breakouts I didn't bother much with my breakouts Because I feel like my any problems ni Macam, dia macam embedded in my DNA tau Memang genetic ada any problem Okay, because one of my parents I'm not going to tell you which one uh, Memang ada breakout Sampai sekarang ni pun And me and my brother We both suffer from any problems My breakouts tu taklah seteruk dulu Tapi, it definitely as not as angry as they used to be okay dia macam bertenang sikit okay dia pun macam dah pegang tas besok orang satu so yeah that's the story many of you guys uh, seems to think that my skin is better I won't say that macam macam contohnya active acne yang I got few months tu uh, Alhamdulillah I got it uh, treated with my skin care routine but as you can see ni baku okay so I am treating them I don't care much Kalau ada ini 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tu. Macam ah, Biar pila So yeah This routine is best suited For oily and any prone skin However However Okay This is just a guideline You don't have to Use all of the products that I use I just want to share Product ni Natang ni dia buat apa Natang tu dia buat apa To my skin And Alhamdulillah All of the products ni Have worked wonder On my skin So you guys should definitely Macam try and error or which product yang sesuai for your face okay 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 first thing first of course cleanser okay this is my favorite cleanser my all time favorite cleanser papillax motion soap free cleanser gel for acne prone skin when i was getting my treatment from the clinic doctor pakai kulit tu uh, this is the cleanser that he recommended for me and i've been using it ever since i've gone through bottles and bottles and bottles of this this is my favorite absolute favorite cleanser i tell you why i am not going to go in depth uh macam dia punya ingredient lah apa dia maknanya ayam but just know that bila you pakai cleanser ni at first i do, i feel like macam satu dia memang uh cleanse your face but my favorite thing about this cleanser is that it doesn't leave your face feeling so tight afterwards it doesn't feel like it strip off every moisture and every oil on your face if anything it feels like it adds more moisture back to your face so bila cuci tu tak ada rasa macam cong eh oh eh oh macam squeaky clean it, it, it is clean tapi it doesn't feel tight macam wah awesome tak no this cleanser doesn't feel like that rasa muka tu macam moisturized okay macam mana a cleanser boleh buat muka rasa moisturized i don't even know fyi even though i have oily skin i do have dry skin faham tak i get oily throughout the day tapi kalau contohnya if i remove my makeup Okay, guna makeup remover You can feel like my, my face is dry As hell, I have a lot of dry patches I have flaky skin dekat Especially around acne tu So yeah, bukan yang macam Starting tu terlalu early Kalau I remove my makeup Memang you can tell that my face is very dry By the way, I'm not an uh, skincare expert Okay, I just share with you what I know Kalau salah, minta ampun Silalah betul kan So what I learned is that Oil skin ni sebenarnya their face is very dry tau Oily skin ni sebenarnya dry and dehydrate tau So the skin tu ingat kita ni tak cukup ayak Dehydrate That is why it produce more oil to compensate the dryness Okay So that is why muka kita lagi oily Sebab dia ingat muka kita ni tak cukup oily Tak cukup um, hydration So it is not necessarily good for you to strip off all of the moisture and oil from your face So that is why before this Gila pakai cleanser yang macam bila rasa kering muka macam Tu rasa macam, ooh clean yang muka, ooh shocknya dah tak really No, actually that is not good Because your skin will think that it doesn't have enough uh, hydration Therefore it will produce more oil So you know, 
kita ni memang dah get oily throughout the day lepas tu nak tambah lagi oily kan so that is why this is my favorite cleanser it is the best for oily skin and also for any prone skin I feel like over time it also treats my acne I don't know why sometimes I just feel suffocate or something macam oh lemah ni nak pakai all the skincare ni and I will just stick to this cleanser believe it or not I got this from Watson by the way uh, I think this cost like 80 ringgit memang bertahan lama gila 4 5 bulan macam tu a very good investment i highly recommend this one so next lepas tu i go in with a uh, toner the one that i've been using is cos rs aha bha clarifying treatment toner so i use it on a cotton pad and i just spray it on the cotton pad and use it all over my face so this toner supposedly reduces the appearance of whiteheads blackheads blemishes while cleansing the pores to be honest i don't think that this uh Toner dia macam clarify my face too much uh, But it feels like it helps in terms of oil control And also I use this toner macam to prep my skin For my next steps Because I feel like uh, other products that I put after I use this toner Macam absorb better on my face Yeah, I really love this toner for that For preparation to prep the skin okay, After that I put on AHA Whitehead Power Liquid by Cosarex Okay, set Okay, set Okay, so let's talk about acids first AHA and BHA Both are uh, chemical exfoliator They are like gentle exfoliator than a scrub In a gentle yet effective uh, version So it's a chemical exfoliator lah So basically, muka kita ni, dia memang exfoliate naturally Tapi bila kita makin tua Proses untuk macam shed the uh, dead skin tu makin lama makin slow kan? Which resulting in an uneven skin tone, lash pores, dryness, uh, flaky skin, uh, you know, congestion, wrinkles, you you know, you lost the firmness on your face. So AHA and BHA ni both helps in uh, naturally shedding all of those uh, dead skin cells. So it helps in improving your skin tone, makes your face look even, um, improve the dullness, smooth out your texture, all of those good stuff. So AHA uh, to alpha hydroxy acid, it works uh, on the surface of the skin. BHA which is beta hydroxy acids, it penetrates um, deeper into your skin. So AHA ni atas, A, atas, atas skin. BHA, B, bawah skin. So AHA ni macam it works on the surface of your skin, atas skin. BHA works underneath your skin, okay? Selalunya macam AHA ni Recommended for dry skin, BHA untuk oily skin Sebab AHA ni macam it enhance the moisturizing factor on your skin Whereas BHA ni it helps in unclog the pores, it helps in acne and blemishes But I feel like AHA works better with my skin I don't know why, maybe I will try BHA more after this But anyway, I use AHA white heat power liquid As I mentioned, this is a gentle uh, escalator Gentle, are you gentle? Are you gentle? So the formula of this product, dia macam helps to uh, even out your skin tone, make it more brighter, clearer, smoother. Okay, so it helps with my flakiness, my um, dry patches. So yeah, I love it for that. I feel like it helps in reducing my acne as well. Tapi uh, on my night routine, I use the ordinary lactic acid 10% plus HA 2%. This is also AHA, but it, it is a stronger version. Memang sangat strong lah, memang rasa macam very acidic And surprisingly, my face, my skin loves acids I don't know why it reacts well Lagi the score tak, kalau ada macam tingling tu ke Tingling sensation tu Lagi my skin score, I don't know why Lactic acid ni pula As I mentioned, it is very strong So I do recommend for you to try it out Kalau you guys tak biasa dengan acids I recommend for you to use the one from Kosa Rats first But I just want to talk about this one Real quick, when I put this on, it feels Ah, oh, my face feels so smooth. Memang rasa macam tak ada bumps, tak ada uh, roughness, tak ada rasa macam rough, bumpy texture tu semua tak ada. It feels so smooth. Dia buat rasa diri ni macam kerana diriku begitu bahagia. Okay, rasa macam sangat smooth lah. Yeah, uh, I think that AHA ataupun BHA is definitely uh, one of important skincare that you should incorporate in your routine because it has it has a lot of benefits okay alright usually I will go in with niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% from the ordinary this stuff is so good that is my it is my favorite so this miracle thing right here it is essentially a vitamin B3 so it is meant for congested skin if you have hyperpigmentation if you have um, acne scars it has helped um, feed my acne scars so much I'm going to insert 
certain clip of my bare face few months back I want you guys to focus on this area right here masa mula-mula tu memang I have a very dark spots over here but ever since I've uh, used this product I I feel like the scar so macam dah fit quite a lot it doesn't completely heal ataupun um, hilang but it has definitely reduced bila malam pula I use the ordinary alpha butin 2% plus HA this one also help in reducing dark spots and hyperpigmentation <laughs> <laughs> when I use these two combined, satu siang satu malam, I feel like my any scar so dia blur, like dia lagi cepat fit tau. I got the same scar dekat bawah my jawline ni. At the same time, I get this one. Okay, sama-sama gelap, sama-sama tumbuh, macam besar dan gelap. Okay, I use the combination of this dekat sini, and I just use alpha butin on this spot bawah ni. And this one has faded a lot more, like a lot more than the one the spot over here, but. I don't think that you need both while you guys want to try. I recommend niacinamide. So this one, it, it does help in reducing the look of the blemishes and it is, but it, it is not a treatment for any. Okay, it is macam post treatment. Okay, lepas lepas ini itu macam dah flat kita use this one untuk hilangkan the scars. Alright, so after that tak habis lagi. Oh my god, so many. And, and then of course, I moisturize my face. I use the one from Cosarex, All Free Ultra Moisturizing Lotion. I love this moisturizer so much. Sometimes I use more than one pump, okay, because I love it. So if you have ever experienced a dry um, dryness due to acne or due to, I don't know, weather, or, this is the one for you. Exclusive ultra moisturizing ingredients to help maintain water deeply on and under, under the skin. This is like a, dia macam cream, tapi it is not thick macam cream tau. Dia macam light hydrating cream. It is so hydrating, I don't know how to tell you guys how hydrating it is. Bila pakai ni, muka rasa macam sangat creamy tau. But not in a thick and greasy way tau. Dia rasa macam creamy lah, rasa macam uh. Oh. Dia rasa macam kalau kita pi merentah desa, kan? Dah go, panah-panah buta tengah hari. Lepas tu kita minum sangkwi. <laughs> Dia macam quench the thirst of a dry skin. Macam tu lah rasanya, okay? And my skin feels so supple and moisturized and nourished. I feel like my foundation application tu lagi lagi best, lagi smooth, lagi best lah kalau I put on this uh, moisturizer underneath, okay? So I love it so much. It is an excellent moisturizer for oily skin. I feel like oily skin people tend to skip moisturizer because they feel like moisturizer ni lagi lah me-oily kan muka. I was one of them. I used to think that until I learn that muka kita ni sebenarnya dehydrate and very dry that is why muka kita ni produces more oil than it needs yeah moisturizer is definitely an important step okay you guys have to try to moisturize your face kalau you guys skip moisturizer cuba moisturize balik your face my face sekarang ni kalau tak moisturize dia lagi oily and greasy tau I mean why not moisturize your face okay why not melembabkan kulit tak nak lembabkan bukan nak lembabkan so other moisturizer that i want to recommend is this one from industry the green tea seed serum uh this one is very watery okay it is runny and watery but it is thicker than water okay dia tak ada lah sayang macam ayak it absorbs very quick and it gives like a instant hydration so if you don't like macam macam ni macam cream macam thick sikit macam this one uh you can definitely try this one because it is very lightweight. It gives a good boost of moisture. It is very lightweight. It's great for oily skin. Lastly, lastly, I put on sunscreen. Listen. Listen. All of those steps that I just show you guys will be meaningless kalau you guys tak put on sunscreen. Alright? Especially if you use uh, exfoliator in your skincare. Sebab exfoliator tu, dia dah remove all of those dead skins, dead cells. So, your face is very photosensitive. So, dia macam sangat sensitive lah dengan sunlight, sun rays semua tu. So, lagi lah muka tu lagi cepat burn, lagi cepat, you know, sun damage. So, tak ada gunanya buat semua tu kalau tak guna sunscreen to protect your skin. Okay? So, sunscreen, don't you ever, never, ever, ever skip sunscreen, okay? This is uh, my favorite. I bought this from uh, Watson because it is a moisture gel. Punya sunscreen, it absorbs quickly. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel gunky. Macam typical sunscreen. Sunscreen pun ada macam-macam jenis. Ada chemical sunscreen and also physical sunscreen. So, this one is chemical sunscreen. Kalau physical sunscreen tu, dia macam yang biasa tu lah. Yang putih melepok muka macam pakai temu lawa tu. That one is better actually. Tapi my oily skin, that one especially if i want to put on 
makeup lepas tu so this one uh, works best underneath makeup ya yeah, better lah guna apa-apa sunscreen pun asal jangan pakai sunscreen as for uh, blemish and acne treatment pula kalau I have active breakouts I will use uh, Cosarets Any Pimple Patch too. Okay, I put it on the active acne Masa tu, for a few hours I don't have it right now because dah habis But usually I put it on acne yang tengah Membuat-buat membara-bara Maria Mariana tu To heal the acne as well as to protect the acne from you know bacteria Kalau tangan ni dia kata pegang kan That one works wonderful on my acne Dia macam mempercepatkan lagi proses acne tu untuk pecah ataupun masak. So after that on night I use uh, Cosarex Centella Blemish Cream and I use it to spot treat my active acne. This also is one of my favorite. It macam is very strong in calming the redness and inflammation. I don't use it all over my face. I just use it as a spot treatment. It helps in healing bad breakouts. So dia sebenarnya um, reduce acne while minimizing the appearance of scar. I don't notice much scars fading when I use this one but it definitely help in flattening my acne faster okay bila I put it as spot treatment acne tu lagi cepat dia flat so yeah the Cosarex acne pimple patch and also this one is my favorite combo in treating my active acne right that's it lenguh rahang oleh tiang so puas hati dah tengok my skincare routine ha uh, I'm so sorry kalau ada info-info yang tak bermanfaat sangat ke ataupun tak betul ke Ataupun tak cukup ke Kalau you guys ada any skincare punya product That you want to recommend Please by all means Comment down below I would love to try more skincare Tak guna kita invest too much on makeup Kalau kita tak invest on our skincare Kalau kita punya base tu Kita punya skin tu dah elok Pakai makeup pun lagi lah nampak elok Betul tak? Uh, yeah I think that's it Thank you for watching I'll see you guys in my next video Bye